Welcome to IPRCs, one of a series of workshops that will help you understand and navigate the school system for your child. For more information, check out the Parent Pages section. In this workshop, we'll take a closer look at the process of identifying and placing children needing extra help within the education system in the province of Ontario. This workshop will help you to understand and prepare yourself for your role in this process. IPRC stands for Identification Placement Review Committee. The purpose of this committee is to identify the exceptionality and the educational placement of a student. The exceptionality is the student's type of disability. The placement is the physical location that the student attends school. The placement will be either in the regular class in the neighborhood school or a special education class. The IPRC is made up of at least three people. One must be the principal or supervisor. Parents must be invited. First, you will need to know the date of the meeting. This must be done in writing at least 10 days before the meeting date. If you cannot attend the meeting, you should let the principal know as soon as possible so that another date and or time can be arranged. The school board must also provide you with a parent guide to special education. This document is also available at every school or may be downloaded from the Board of Education websites. Five days before the IPRC, you should receive a copy of any information about your child that the chairperson of the IPRC has received and the committee will be considering. The school board must also provide an interpreter if you request one. How is a student referred for an IPRC? Your child may be referred for an IPRC by the school principal when school staff believe your child will benefit from a special education program or supports. However, you may ask that your child be referred to an IPRC by making that request in writing to the school principal. The principal must honor this request and respond within 15 school days, giving you an approximate date for the IPRC. As a parent or guardian of a child referred for an IPRC, it is important to know your rights. You have the right to be present and participate in all discussions and decisions about your child. You can ask for clarification at any time during any discussion. You have the right to attend the IPRC meeting. You should never sign the form giving permission for the IPRC meeting to happen without you. You have the right to request a regular class placement in your child's neighborhood school. Government regulations state that the IPRC must consider placement in a regular class before making a recommendation for a special education class placement. If a decision is made in favor of a special education class, the IPRC must state the reasons for this on the decision sheet. You have the right to have a person present who may provide you with support. It is strongly recommended that you take someone with you, even if it is just to listen, take notes, or help you remember and understand what happens at the meeting. It's important for you to know what to expect from the IPRC meeting. The meeting will begin with a discussion of the strengths and needs of your child. Then each IPRC member will discuss the type of placement they feel will best meet your child's needs. Be sure that you clearly state the type of placement you want for your child. In making this decision, the committee may consider a range of options, which may include a regular class with indirect support, a regular class with resource assistance, a regular class with withdrawal assistance, a special education class with partial integration, a special education class full-time. Let's review those options briefly. In a regular class with indirect support, the student is placed in a regular class for the entire day, and the teacher receives support from specialized school board consultants. 
In a regular class with resource assistance, the student remains in the regular class for the school day and receives assistance individually or in a small group from a qualified special education professional. In a regular class with withdrawal assistance, the student is placed in the regular class and receives instruction outside of the classroom for less than 50% of the school day from a qualified special education professional. In a special education class with partial integration, the student is placed in a special education class for at least 50% of the day, but is integrated with the regular class for at least one instructional period daily. In a full-time special education class, the student is placed in a special education class for the entire school day. Following the IPRC, you will receive the IPRC decision sheet, which will include whether your child has been identified as exceptional and the category of the exceptionality as defined by the Ontario Ministry of Education, a description of your child's strengths and needs described during the meeting, the placement decisions and, if recommendation is for a special education class, the reasons for placement. There is also a section available to outline any recommended special education supports or services. Placements must be reviewed once each school year, but can also be reviewed every three months if necessary. The review IPRC follows the same steps as the original one, discussing strengths and needs, exceptionality, and placement. The review IPRC will also include a discussion of the achievements that occurred during that school year. You can also request a review of support services and have these recommendations included on the second page of the IPRC decision sheet. Here are some tips to help you prepare for your child's IPRC. Bring a picture of your child to the meeting. This will help to remind committee members that they are discussing a person not just a placement, especially as some of the professionals may not have met your child. Focus on the positives of your child. You may wish to prepare a brief list of your child's strengths and interests to share with the group. Gently redirect conversations that are focusing only on the negative by asking people to talk about accomplishments and what has or will work. Instead of signing the paperwork presented in the meeting, take it home, review it, and make sure that you understand what has been recommended. Ask that additional information that you want included with the IPRC decision sheet, for example, additional strengths and needs, service recommendations, etc., be attached as an addendum. In the event that you disagree with either the exceptionality or the placement decision, you can appeal that decision. This process and other helpful information about IPRCs is outlined in both School Board and the Ontario Ministry of Education websites. Take time to review the information and ask questions. Remember that your role as a parent and member of the Identification Placement Review Committee is most important you will be able to help the committee get a clear understanding of your child and support the school in taking the steps needed to build success for your child. Thanks for stopping by.